What is up guys? Today we have the Iper Scuba S1 cordless robotic pool cleaner here and this thing is actually quite amazing. So before I actually review this, I want to mention that I am actually not sponsored. I pay for all these pool cleaner robots myself and people ask me, am I crazy? Why did I spend so much money on this? And I tell them, this is my hobby. This is what I enjoy doing. A lot of people spend their money on collecting baseball cards. My significant other, she spends a lot of the money on clothes. Clothes she can't possibly use up in her entire lifetime, but that's what she loves doing. I love doing this and I'm going to keep reviewing these as long as it helps. I hope this review helps. So this Iper Scuba S1 is one of Iper's newest models in the 2024 lineup. This is actually based off of last year's model, the Iper Seagull Pro, which was already a really good cleaner. It actually worked really well in my pool, but there have been known issues on it. Basically, it would get stuck on the main drain and it would also wander aimlessly around the pool. So the navigation wasn't working. The Scuba S1 here actually promises to fix those issues, which is awesome. So let's talk about this Scuba S1 here. What makes this Scuba S1 a great cleaner? First off, let's talk about price here. This is a mid-range cleaner at a mid-range price, but don't let mid-range fool you. It's actually packed with premium features, which actually make this a better value. Now physically, take a look at this right here. This is one of the most attractive looking pool cleaners I've seen in a very long time. Iper's model last year, the Seagull Pro was actually big and beefy with big wheels. I actually like that, but when I saw this, I actually like this even more. They've actually compacted it and squished it down in a more slimmer design right here, and it actually looks really nice. This black and gray here, as well as a little bit of turquoise teal right here, actually makes the cleaner pop. It's very attractive to look at, and I never thought I would say that about a robotic pool cleaner. Now, the Scuba S1 is actually designed for pools up to 1,600 square foot with about 10 feet worth of depth. So you can actually use these in some pretty big pools. Physically itself, this only weighs in at 16 and a half pounds, and that's actually awesome. In general, the more features a cleaner has, the more weight it puts on. At 16 and a half pounds, it's actually very lightweight. Now again, there is absolutely no cords at all with this cleaner here. It is a cordless robotic pool cleaner. That means that built in inside is a 7,800 milliamp battery, which takes roughly four hours to fully charge, which isn't that long actually. It also means that it has a full runtime of up to 150 minutes. Yes, two and a half hours, which is basically enough time to clean an entire large pool. But again, you can just pop this on the charger for four hours and throw it right back in the pool and clean it again, run the cycle again. It charges quickly and I love that. Physically, right over here, we have a nice little handle for you to grip onto right there. You have the power on and on button right here. And in the back right here, you actually have the port to charge it. You just pop this open just like this, and you plug in your power adapter, which it comes with. So that's actually really nice. Now, in terms of design, take a look at these wheels here, or I should say tracks here. Last year's Seagull Pro had big giant wheels. This year, they've actually designed it a little differently. These are what they call caterpillar tracks basically it's one big track wheel and it's designed this way for a reason since this is so big it has a lot more traction to basically be able to push over the main drain so that's awesome in addition to that these little grooves here basically help it stick to all surfaces of your pool the scuba s1 here will clean the floors of your pool it'll clean the walls of your pool it'll climb steps in your pool and it actually cleans the water line of your pool and scrubs it and scrubs it really well really great premium feature there let me actually turn this upside down right over here so you can see right here, it's got two large scrubbing brushes right here basically to knock away all sorts of debris into the actual inlet right here that goes up into the actual debris canister right here. And I wanna mention, I love the fact that this right here is an easy access top loading debris basket. Yes, a lot of cleaners will be loaded from the bottom and don't include a basket. They use either a cartridge filter or a debris bag. This is an actual basket here. And this is super easy to clean. You just kind of pop it open like this and you rinse it out with a hose. So that's actually really nice. Now, I do want to mention, this is a fine filter. Iper does not include an ultra fine filter in this set. I wish they did. Now, a fine filter will work for 90% of pool owners. It'll filter out your small, medium, large debris, your twigs, your tree branches, your leaves. It'll filter that all out. But if you get a lot of green algae in your pool, if you get a lot of fine debris, that kind of sticky white film in your pool, cloudy and milky water in your pool, then yes, you will need an ultra fine filter. An ultra fine filter will actually filter that all out and give you an overall better clean in your pool. So I do wish that Iper included an ultra fine filter, but it does not. 
easy to put away. You just pop it right inside like this and you close it up there. So built inside this scuba here is actually upgraded smart navigation. Last year's model, the Seagull Pro actually had WavePath 1.0 technology to move around the pool to get itself out of tough situations. This year has WavePath 2.0 and Iper actually says it's much, much better. Now my Seagull Pro actually did well in the pool. It never got stuck and it did well moving all around the pool. But I don't have a very complex shaped pool. With this new 2.0 technology here, 2.0 navigation, it should be able to navigate around the pool much better. So that's awesome. Upgraded 2.0 navigation. So to actually turn this on, there is a power button right here. You turn it off the same way. You hold it for two seconds and it'll turn on. So let's go ahead and show you the modes here. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the power button right there. And it turns on there. And take a note right there. That right there means it's in automatic mode. By default, it always starts in automatic mode. And in automatic mode, what it does is it actually cleans both the walls of your pool and the floors of your pool. But it does it based off of the battery percentage. At above 50% battery, it'll focus on cleaning just the walls of your pool. When it gets below 50%, it'll actually switch to just the floors of your pool. And finally, at 15%, it'll actually self-park itself over at the end of the pool. So you can actually use your little retrieval hook that it comes with and fish it out. So that's actually really great. It actually automatically shut itself off because I left it on that and it wasn't in the water. So that's actually a really nice safety feature. I'm going to turn it back on again. I'm actually going to change modes here by moving over here and right over here with the little bottom outline that means it's actually in the floor cleaning mode. So what this means is that it'll focus on cleaning just the floors of your pool. And in this mode it actually moves in an S like pattern cleaning the floors of your pool which is really great. It has that smart navigation to get it out of tight spots but it also moves in a preset pattern to clean. I'll go ahead and switch it over here and right down here you can see on the sides here it's actually lit up. This means it's in wall cleaning mode and in this mode it'll actually make an end like pattern going up and down the walls of your pool scrubbing your water line. So that's awesome. Now over here this one right here this is what I want to talk about. This is eco mode. So what is eco mode? Eco mode on this scuba S1 is hands down my favorite feature for this scuba here. It is the reason why I picked this up. And eco mode is basically in layman's terms, a scheduled weekly timer. Yes. And now you're thinking a scheduled weekly timer. What's the big deal? I've seen a ton of robotic cleaners with scheduled weekly timers. Yes, you're right. But how many of those cleaners are actually cordless and have that scheduled weekly timer? Now, I've used a ton of cleaners, I have a ton of cleaners, and very rarely does a cordless robotic cleaner have the option to be left in the pool for a week at a time. This Scuba S1 here has that option, and that's what makes it so great. And at the price point that it is, it's actually a really great value. Eco mode is all about convenience. Basically, you're able to leave this in the pool for a week at a time to regularly clean your pool. This means it's less maintenance for you overall, and it's just very convenient. I cannot stress how easy it is to be able to leave a cleaner in the pool for a week at a time. It really does make a difference. So how eco mode here works is basically when you actually power it on and set it to eco mode, you place it in the pool, it'll actually turn on. It'll run for 45 minutes and then shut off. Two days later, 48 hours later, it'll turn on again and run another 45 minutes. After that 45 minutes, it'll shut off again. And two days later again, another 48 hours, it'll turn on again and run for its last time for 45 minutes. So in a week's worth of time, it'll turn on three times for 45 minutes to clean your pool. And now you're thinking 45 minutes each time, is that enough time to actually clean your pool? And I gotta say, take into context what an actual robotic cleaner is. Robotic cleaners, regardless of it being cordless, regardless of the brand, how expensive or inexpensive it is, robotic cleaners are designed to help maintain a pool that's in good shape, meaning not a super dirty pool. If you're opening up the pool for the first time and it's filled up with dirt, filled up with leaves, filled up with algae and green stuff, there's no way any robotic cleaner on the market will be able to clean that in just one go, at least not by itself and at least not without the right chemicals. It will take multiple runs and multiple sets of chemicals to clean it and to get it back into swimming pool shape. Robotic pool cleaners are designed to help maintain an already well-maintained pool. And this Iper Scuba S1 in eco mode does that really well. I'm going to be honest with you, I have another cleaner that has a scheduled timer that is cordless that I use during the swim season. Basically, I turn it on and I leave it in the pool for a week at a time and I do absolutely nothing else. 
The only time I take it out is when I empty the debris basket, when I need to charge it, or when I actually go swimming. That's it. Aside from that, I leave it in the pool during swim season for months at a time, and the pool is sparkling clean. The Scuba S1 here will be used in the exact same way, but it's actually at a fraction of the cost. I love that. So I talked about all the good features about this Scuba S1 here. So what are some features that it's actually lacking? What does it not have? And I gotta say, this is a plug and play, user-friendly type of cleaner here, where you basically turn it on, put it in the pool, it'll clean, and you take it out. There are absolutely no smart features to this cleaner here. You can't actually control it through your cell phone. There's no online app. There's no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi involved. You don't get notifications or anything like that to your actual phone, and you can't control it through your actual app. Now, I also have to be honest here. I have a ton of cleaners. A lot of them have smart features, and aside from the first time I actually set it up, I never actually use the app at all. And the reason why is because this, basically, I put the cleaner in the pool to clean. If it does a really good job of cleaning the pool, I don't have to go into the settings. I don't have to monitor every single thing that it does in the actual app. As long as it cleans well physically, I'm very happy. I don't need the actual smart features. So although having smart features is actually really cool, it's not necessarily a needed function for a pool cleaner to keep your pool sparkling clean. But if you're in the market for a cleaner with those options, you want the smart features, then the Scuba S1 is not the way to go. I do expect Iper to release the same model, but with those features later on. So I've talked your ear off about this Scuba S1 here. So let's go ahead and finally put this in the pool and I'll show you how well it works. Okay guys, so take a look at the Scuba S1 in my pool here. It's on wall cleaning mode. I do have a tanning ledge right here. It's about four feet up right here and it's actually climbing the walls right here. This is very, very steep right here and it's able to climb all the way up to my actual water line above my actual tanning ledge over here. It'll actually reach this big one over here as well. So let's go ahead and pay attention to this. It's going up and take a look right here how steep that is. It's going straight up too and actually curve down like that. Just like that, all the way up to the water line right over there and scrub it. Now it'll back back down. Back down and it'll actually move in an end like pattern when it actually goes up walls. So it's gonna go back down, move over a little bit and then move up a little more over to the other side of the tanning ledge, just like that. Yep. And there it goes. It's gonna turn up, go straight up and repeat the same process. And here's a look of it climbing that tanning ledge right there. There's that scrubbing action, that waterline scrubbing right there. So that's awesome. Okay guys, so take a look right here. The Scuba is actually climbing my tanning ledge, the bit widest part of my tanning ledge, which is about four feet tall. And look at that. It goes up my tanning ledge just like that, super easy. And it's actually moving across and cleaning the floor of my tanning ledge right there. So that's actually really cool. It's able to reach this big, big tanning ledge over here. I'm actually impressed that the scuba will actually reach this section of my pool. There goes that water line scrubbing right there. Look at that. Awesome. I do want to point out this color right here, when it's blue, it actually means the battery is above 50%. If this changes to yellow, it means it will be below 50%. And if it's red, it means it's at 15% or below. So I just wanted to point that part out for you. Look at that Scuba S1. Totally cool. Climbing up the side of my wall right here. All right, guys. So I actually switched the Scuba to floor only mode here. So now it will actually focus on just cleaning the floors of the pool over here. You can see I have main drains right here. So hopefully it goes over that and I'll show you how well it works. But 
it's not going to actually climb up the walls anymore. It'll focus just on the actual floors of the pool over here. Okay guys, in floor only mode, the scuba will not actually climb the walls. So just pay attention, it's gonna go up a little and then stop and then go back down because it's focusing on just the floors of the actual pool there. So that's a really nice feature if you just wanna focus on just the floors here. All right, guys, so take a look at the Iper right there. It goes right over my main drain right there. No issues at all. Awesome. Those Caterpillar treads on the actual wheels help it quite a bit to basically fly right over the main drains right there. So that's actually really great. Okay, guys, so take a look at the Iper, the scuba there. There's the main drain right in front of it. And look, take a look. It goes right over the main drain just like that no issues at all slides right over it and it keeps going so that's actually really awesome doesn't get stuck on those main drains okay guys so here's a quick time lapse of the scuba s1 in the pool now i have the scuba set to wall cleaning mode right now and as you can see it's actually climbing the walls really well and it moves in an end like pattern as you can see moving along the walls of my pool I do want to mention it also scrubs the water line and when it hits the corner right here to get to the other side look at that it actually moves very smoothly to the next side of the pool which is awesome it has that built-in navigation where if it senses something in the way it'll actually adjust but otherwise it'll move in that pattern which is really nice now up here it just hit my tanning ledge and i want to mention that this actually climbs my tanning ledge really well. My tanning ledge is about four, four and a half feet tall, and it cleans the biggest section as well, just right there. Awesome. All right, guys, so I actually switched the scuba to floor only mode here, and here you can actually see it move along the pool really well. In this mode, it actually moves in an S-like pattern along the floor, and it does it in a really good way to get a lot of coverage. I also want to mention, you notice those two main drains in the center of my pool? It actually has no issues just like that. It goes right over my main drains. No issues at all, so that's awesome. The older models actually had issues going over the main drains. It's really nice with this new Caterpillar tread style wheel that it has no issues at all. Another thing I want to point out about floor cleaning mode is that when it's in this mode, it won't actually climb up walls anymore. It won't reach the water line. And that's on purpose because it's just focusing on picking up debris on the floor of the pool. So you, as you can see, it hits the wall and it just backs out. So it's actually really nice. And again, just look at it go over my main drain with no issue. That's actually really nice. Look at all that coverage. It basically reached from all the way to my left to my, the right of my pool with no issues. So you guys can see that the Iper Scuba S1 here actually works really well. If you're in the market for a cordless robotic pool cleaner with the convenience of having a scheduled weekly timer, if you want a robotic cleaner that cleans the floors, the walls, climbs steps in your pool, and the water line in your pool, if you want a good plug and play, user-friendly robotic cleaner, and you don't need smart features at all, then this Iper Scuba S1 here is definitely a very good choice. Definitely a pool cleaner here, I recommend. We, we hope, hope this review helps. helps.